This morning I'm going to talk to you about a particularly virulent and dangerous form of divine madness, which is called falling in love. Uh, which is, uh, from a practical point of view, one of the most insane things you can do. And this is an extraordinary disruptive experience, a subversive experience in the conduct of human affairs. Because you never know when it will strike, or for what reason, falling. You see, we don't say rising into love. There is in it the idea of the fall. Taking this ghastly risk uh, is the condition of there being life. You see, for all, the life is an, an act of faith. The moment you take a step, you do so on an act of faith because you don't really know that the floor is not going to give under your feet. The moment you take a journey, what an act of faith. The moment you enter into any kind of human undertaking and relationship, what an act of faith. The, you've given yourself up. But this is the most powerful thing that can be done. Surrender. See, and love is an act of surrender to another person. Total abandonment. I give myself, take do anything you like. That's quite mad, because you see, it's letting things get out of control. All sensible people keep things in control. Uh, actually, therefore, the, the, the course of wisdom, what is really sensible, uh, is to let go, uh, is to commit oneself, to give oneself up, and that's quite mad. So we come to the strange conclusion that in madness lies salmon. Say cheese.